Hello and welcome to building a website using object-oriented PHP. My name is Brad Traversy and I'll be your instructor for this course. So the goal of this course is to learn and to ultimately build an application using object-oriented PHP. There will be six sections in this course. Each section will have between four and six lectures and then each lecture will include a video along with any documents or project files from that lecture. So what do you need to know before taking this course? You should definitely have some knowledge in HTML. CSS is optional because we'll be focusing on functionality, not too much design. Um, programming fundamentals, so things like arrays, variables, loops, just the very basic fundamentals of programming. All right, and then very basic PHP. You don't have to know any object-oriented PHP. Um, and you could take the course without knowing any at all, but I would suggest at least learning the basics first. All right, so the final project is going to be an application with a complete login and registration system, and users will be able to register, log in, and then post shares. Shares are just mini posts with a title, body, and link to a resource such as an article. Shareboard will be built on our own custom MVC framework that will be built from scratch. All right, so MVC is Model View Controller. It's a design pattern that is used often in PHP as well as other languages. Okay, so technology and concepts. Of course, object-oriented PHP, uh, classes and objects, which are at the core of object-oriented PHP, methods and properties, the Model View Controller design pattern, my MySQL database, data binding, abstraction, and static methods and properties. Okay, so these are just some of the things that we'll be going over. So here's an overview of the sections. We have section one will be an intro to PHP. We'll look at arrays, variables, functions, loops, things like that. Section two will be object-oriented PHP fundamentals. Section 3 will be advanced object-oriented PHP. Section 4 will be working with a database. We'll build a class that will interact with a MySQL database. And then Section 5 and 6 will be building our shareboard application. Alright, so that's it. Let's go ahead and get started with Section 1.